Hey guys, this is Bill from the Upside of Downsizing with a quick video. Behind me you see the rain barrels that we've been working on. I got the uh, connections all made and now I'm going to take you through. Okay, I've got the two rain barrels set up. Below is the base that I built the other day. And they're two 100 gallon rain barrels that are connected right here. In the first rain barrel, let me see, I don't know if I can show it to you or not. Yeah, you might be able to catch a glimpse of it. There's a tube that's running down. And what that is is an overflow tube, very much like what you'd see in the to on a toilet tank. So the water will fill up. When it gets to the top, it'll go in the tube, down, and begin to fill the second tank. There is a three-quarter inch ball valve, and I put a little bit of an extension on it so a five-gallon bucket will fit under it. So we have the capability of 200, barrel, 200 gallons with this setup. We have three more barrels available. So we could extend this if we need to over to this spot, or we'll use it on another location. We'll just see how much rain we get and how quickly it comes. Uh, this roof will capture about 100 gallons per inch of rain according to the calculations I've uh, seen on the internet. So we'll see. Anyways, that's it for the rain barrel situation. Let the rain begin. If you have any questions about our rain capture system or the rain barrels or how I connected it, just leave them in the comment box below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.